should you have applied for special consideration. As A-level and GCSE results day approaches, this might have crossed your mind if there was anything happening during your exams that meant you couldn't complete it as normal. Things like medical issues, bereavement and so on. So I just wanted to fill you in on the bits that I do know. Now, if you think you should have applied for it during the exam period, but didn't and now you're wondering if you still can, listen up. First, let's quickly cover what special consideration actually is. So special consideration is a process that allows exam boards to adjust the marks of students who were unable to perform at their best due to exceptional circumstances. So this is stuff like illness, injury or other significant issues during the exam period. This isn't just something that your teacher can change though. It goes higher than that. Right to exam boards and something called the JCQ. So first and foremost, it's important to approach the situation calmly and rationally. Unfortunately, and I want to say this from the get go, it's much harder at this stage for you to actually apply for special consideration. Generally, the exam boards want these applications in with evidence during exam period. However, if the circumstance is serious enough, and I mean they can be really, really strict, then they will consider it so long as it's before the results review for that exam period. Your exams officer will be able to tell you when that is as well, but it is very quick. So let's say you still want to proceed. Here's what you would need to do. Firstly, you want to contact your school or your college. You'll want to reach out to them as soon as possible, explaining your situation and why you believe special consideration should have been applied. They can guide you on the next steps and it helps you with any necessary documentation. They'll know you better than us and we'll be able to give you an idea as to whether it's likely you'll find any success in applying for it. Please remember it isn't up to them to make the final decision. Like I said, it goes higher. All they can do is advise you. Secondly, you'll want to gather some evidence. So be prepared to provide any evidence that supports your case. This could include medical notes, a letter from a doctor or any other relevant documentation that explains your circumstances during that period. And then finally, of course, follow official procedures. Your school or college, specifically the exams officer, will be able to inform you about the specific procedures for applying for special consideration after results are released. So make sure to follow these procedures carefully and submit any required forms promptly. Remember, special consideration is handled by exam boards and the JCQ, but your school or college will be your primary point of contact. They are there to support you and ensure that your case is presented accurately and fairly. Hope that helps.